So now that we're out of a conflict zone, I'll see about putting together some of the mechs. I just wanted to get out of a conflict zone so we're not paying extra money for it. Um, I guess we can check the equipment and everything. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I wasn't expecting to find a whole lot here, but it was worth a look. Uh, in the meantime... Um... I mean... Yeah, we're in, we're in a, a place that doesn't have sufficient resources. Alright. Kiss my ass, game. How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? Uh, let's stop in the industrial hub first. And then we'll go after the mission. And Mara! A face... A name that I haven't heard in some time. Mara. Rolling into the chat. Supping in the chat. On a Saturday. Mara, I'm glad to see you. Glad you could join us for... For some Mech Warrior 5. And hopefully your, your weekend has been outstanding so far. Um, again, glad you could join us. Glad to see you. We got a rare dragon mech. Nothing special about it. It's just not damaged. So, no, no, I don't think we will. In the meantime, we can head into the mech bay. Let's see about getting all these boys repaired. Uh, who, who didn't lose weapon systems? That'll be the easy question to answer. Yeah, everybody lost something. Let's repair all... How's the murder for money? Oh, you know, it's... It's about like it always is. We're, we're working our way... Oh, my. We're working our way through, uh... Through some of the... Narrative missions to make a little more money and reputation. We haven't had great luck with it just doing the randomly generated stuff. I think I'm just gonna take all of the tier 1 mediums out of this because we got so many tier 0s. And that's basically all the 4P is, is a bunch of medium lasers. If we're gonna lose them every mission, I'd rather just use the cheap stuff. Um, and then let's look at the loadouts. For this guy. Repair all. Okay, outstanding. I think we're good. So that'll get Hunchback Squad put back together. Uh, we definitely need to put our main lance back together. I'm gonna have to look at that one. The T-Bolt actually fared pretty well, and so did the Warhammers. Better than I expected them to, anyway. Now let's see what we lost on the trim, and see about replacing it. So all we lost was a stream SRM4 and a medium laser. I think, I think we can, we can make that work. So we're going to have to take out the tier 4, we'll put in a tier 3, and we need an SRM Stream 4, of which we have quite a few. We'll repair all, and we're good. Now, since we are in the industrial hub... We are in an industrial hub. Chad, I have to ask... Because we can't have a bunch of mechs. Do we, perhaps... Yeah, your mom's a hub, friend A. Get out of your rat shit. Do we, do we take the Centurions, break them down, and replace them with Marauders? That's the question. Oh, track tension. I'm not surprised by that. PayPal's always been kind of bullies when it comes to, like, the way they do stuff. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna put the... We'll put the Centurions in cold storage for now. I may end up selling them when it's all said and done. Also, like, rap with me here. We've been keeping the Dervish because it's an SRM boat, and I've been having fun with it, but, like... I feel like the Treb is just better in every way. Like, it has about the same armor, it's got 
better firepower once it's fully repaired. The cooling is better. The speed is better. The range is better. Like, just all around, the dervish is just not standing up to the trev, the hero trev. I mean, it's a hero mech, so... Oh, and I see you, Asuka. Hydration incoming. Yeah, Friendane, while I, I can understand where you're coming from on the replacing Hunch Squad, the reason that I'm ditching the Centurions instead is, one, for the memes, and two, because the Centurion and the Hunchback are both 50-ton max. so if I'm gonna ditch 50-ton max, I'd rather just be the Centurions. Like, yeah, we've been running Hunch Squad, but we can take any of these Hunchbacks and use them to fill in for the Centurion at any time. Um, but I would like to bring, since we're in an industrial hub, I would like to bring uh, these Marauders out of storage and actually get them put back together. Um, honestly, I think we cold storage the Dervish, too. Because like I said, the, the Trev is just better than the Dervish in every measurable capacity. And I know that's not a fair comparison because it's a hero trap, but like... At a certain point, we have to make the decision, like, are we going to actually spend the money to continue using the Dervish? Uh, but let's, let's, let's do some Mech Bay Heresy here. We got... We gotta put this Marauder back together. So let's repair it first of all. We got some engine heat sinks, which is good. I don't think we're gonna waste any doubles on it. So we'll put in some engine heat sinks right off the bat. We're already mostly maxed on the armor, as you do. Uh, but you gotta have even numbers, you can't have odd numbers. That's a no-no. I think we max out the front armor. We'll keep the arms armored up. Um, let's see. We can put two more points into head or front armor, and then I'll fill out the rest of the tonnage requirement just to round it off. There we go. So we're at 48 tons, and we can spend the rest of the tonnage on weapon systems. DBCs for primary or a gauss with lasers. Yeah, I, I err on the side of PPCs where I can. Failing that, we could use large lasers instead. I mean, you say that, track tension, but dual PPCs are, are good. The only, the only downside to the dual PPC setup is you suck at close range with them. Um, which you can make up for, like, with ballistic hard points, with medium energy slots. That's also part of the reason that I'm a little more partial to using large lasers, because they don't have a minimum range. And so, because we know that the computer's kind of stupid and wants to get up really, really close, it prevents them from doing dumb stuff and, uh, and getting themselves blown out. So let's do this. Throw in some mediums. And the mag gives us 15 tons to play with. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna throw in a couple more heat sinks. Because we are running heavy on the lasers. Uh, but that gives us 13 tons to play with in terms of a ballistic slot. So what are we at? We could throw in an AC-10 and one bin of ammo. We could throw in an AC-5 and a couple of bins of ammo. I'm not giving them an Ultra AC-5. I refuse to give the AI an Ultra AC-5. But... Maybe stick in an AC-10 burst fire? Drop a heat sink and put in two bins of ammo and just let them go crazy with it? Heavy rifle? I, I mean, it's not the worst idea. It is lighter. The only problem with the heavy rifle is going to be the fire rate. But 
Let's see. So the weight on this is five tons. If we were to switch those out for PPC, that's seven tons. Uh, I'm not... Again, I don't want to go super PPC heavy because, again, we're going to have minimum range problems. The AI is dumb. So if we're going to do that, then whatever the ballistic slot is, I want it to be closer range. The problem is, I think we have to go with a rifle on this. Because, yeah, we can't put in an AC-10, and an AC-5 I don't think is going to be good enough up close. Who's sticking an AC-5 burst fired? One bin of ammo? But AC-5, even a burst fire, is not going to be very good up close. Well, I'm definitely going to put the tier zero in there. Again, let's let's let the computer eat up all of the crappy stuff. Uh, the, there are some large pulse lasers if you get lucky. In fact, I think we even have a few. But again, I'm not going to stick them... Yeah, like, we have some large pulse lasers. I'm not sticking those in a mech I'm giving to the AI, though. Because they will absolutely get that shit destroyed with a quickness. And I would rather keep that for, for better stuff. Um, so we can only fit in one bin of ammo. And it's only 80 rounds. I mean, there's a part of me that doesn't like this design. At close range, we could give it a machine gun. The only problem is we're basically wasting a large ballistic slot on a machine gun, which seems a little excessive and not a good damage trade-off. Maybe give it a normal AC-5. Let's see. Do we get anything in regular AC-5s? We got some- wow, we got a lot of tier 1s. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Uh... Again, it's not the greatest Marauder I've ever put together. It's not that I think the AC-5 is bad. My fear is, again, the PPC is at close range. Like, the AC-5 and two medium lasers is not terribly effective at close range, but we'll just see how it goes. Worst case scenario, it gets cored and we have to rebuild it. Uh, we'll leave this one. We'll leave the 3D the way it is. We got a 3R, which I forget what that one was. It's basically the same thing, right? So we'll slap in some heat sinks. I mean, do we standardize the design on this one too? Just, just full PPC spam all day, every day. It seems a little excessive, but I mean, excessive is kind of what we do here. Ammo goes in the feet. I don't remember how the armor was set up though. Uh, if we max the armor. I mean, I'm not against that as a setup. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much... Play what we'll do this. And we're up the front a bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, he, we share the PPCs point blank all the time, this is true. Uh, but the computer's not very good at it. All right, so we're definitely spending a buttload of money, but we are we are on our way to getting Mad Squad put together. I don't know what I would pair with Mad Squad. I would probably just continue to use the Hero Treb, but at the same time, I feel like maybe maybe I'm getting a little too attached to the Hero Treb. We'll see. We'll see. We got a lot of repairs to do. Um, let us 
Well, since we're since we're in an industrial hub, we'll see if there's anything else here. It doesn't look like it. I kind of want to hit another industrial hub, but I want to get the uh, I want the bonus to the repairs. So okay. Remember to set the weapon groups in case it actually works. I couldn't tell if it's working. I couldn't tell either. Um, I'm not I'm not interested in that much micro. If I'm being honest, I I don't really want to do that with every single mech that I give. To the uh to the computer um but you guys will have to help me with uh the the game knowledge here if i have already paid to repair the mechs here an industrial hub and then i go like up here to a different industrial hub is it going to then increase the cost of the repairs or because i paid for them here is it still going to be the same amount even though we're not in an industrial hub Well, now I'm confused. So now, okay, so you've already paid for them, which means the cost does not increase. Okay. Then, before we start this mission, uh, because we're right next to this other industrial hub, I'm gonna check it out and target a kill. It looked like a, it looked like a hero mech to me for just a second. So we'll head over here just to spend a little more time and let the repairs take place. And uh, in the meantime, see if there's anything good up here in this industrial hub. And then we'll head back and do the mission. So, no mechs, no weapons, at least not at this planet. We have rare mech, rare mech, rare weapon. We'll check them out. I know we're wasting a lot of time. But we always gotta check out this stuff. You never know when you'll find something good. And we do have some disposable income, so it's worth looking into just in case. We might find something awesome. Like an awesome. Rare Griffin! Bo! Bo! Cataphract, though. I know- I know some of you in chat are big fans of the Cataphract. I am not. But I know some of you guys really like yourselves the Cataphract. I think the Cataphract is ugly, and yes, that's all I need to not use a mech. I really wish I could just see what the damn mech is without having to fly out here. Like, I wish it would just tell me, Hey, it's, you know, a cataphract. Okay, great. I don't want that. Let's not waste the time going there. Oh, a Vindicator? Really? Really? I mean, it's a melee Vindicator. So, points for originality. But it's still a Vindicator. And a Jaeger mech? Nah. 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 I- I don't think we will. I know Erst. I know Erst. You get excited at the thought of a melee mech, but we can do better. We can do better. Alright, let's check out the rear weapon. You know, Dizzy Buttons, I'm glad that we think alike. I, I saw the Claymore, and I had this, like, I want the Claymore. But then there's also the part of me that's like, a mace, though. A mace is really fun. Now, what is this? RF. What is R? Oh, Rapid Fire. Is that... Ah, okay, so we're dealing with a... Burst Fire Ballistic Weapon with Long Range and Medium Damage. So basically, it's like burst fire, but... Question mark? Like, what's the appreciable difference between... I, I know it's new and the DLC is new. But... Like, what, what would be the difference between a rapid fire and a burst fire? I guess the rapid fire is just a consistent fire rate. Whereas the burst fire obviously fires in bursts. So like... This is, this is basically the full auto setting versus the burst fire setting. That, that is my read. Oh yeah, no, I know, it's extremely expensive. I, I'm, I'm not even, I'm under no illusions about that. But at the same time, it's not a wreck, but it feels like the closest we're gonna get. 
Rapid fire is one shot, but reloads really fast. Yeah, so it's... Between versions, let's see. So the burst fire AC5... Uh, rate of fire is 40 rounds per minute. And the rapid fire is... Oh my god. 136 rounds. Now, technically, that's a tier 3. So it's probably closer to, like, 120 or 125 base. But good lord. I mean... Yes, we've had auto cannon. But what about second auto cannon? I mean, a 50 round per minute AC 20 that isn't a burst fire? I... Okay, these don't require, like, a special type of ammo or something, right? I just want to double check. It doesn't look like it. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. They're new weapons. We gotta play with new weapons, right? It's a requirement. Alright, now. Uh, let's see. Do I want to st- mm. Gauss Hunchback is really good, but what about Rapid Fire AC-20 Hunchback? What about, what about Rapid Fire AC-20 Hunchback? And we have enough for four tons of ammo. Which I have a feeling we're gonna need. Oh god, Chad. I feel like we have committed some grave crime. And yet... And yet, somehow, while we have committed a crime, when we take this on the field, it's gonna be an even bigger crime. It feels so wrong, and yet it feels so right. If this is gonna be my personal chariot, we're gonna use some pulse lasers. Oh, it's, it's hideous. Yeah. It's hideous and I love it, but I can't do it because pulse laser's way too much. And Erst, smack and read 2816 in the face with the gift sub. Reed, welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. And Erst, thank you so much for the massive generosity and the massive chicken. You do not have to support the stream in that way, but I appreciate you all the same. And Reed, we're glad to have you in the cult. Hopefully you'll have a good time, and please enjoy the Ecto Cooler. I think a Hunchback is a perfect experimental platform. You're not wrong. A Hunchback is a good way to test just about any weapons platform. I mean, we could... We, we could definitely put in more ammo. However, I like to use the medium lasers to... Well, you've seen. I like to use the medium lasers as backup and also to handle, like, the VTOLs and stuff like that. Three smalls and a half ton more ammo. No, no, no. We've already got four tons of ammo. That's going to give us 80 rounds. Then again. Damn. I was going to put the ammo directly into the cockpit, but I can't. It won't let me. There we go. That's 100 rounds. That's a hundred rounds of AC-20 ammo. I have no idea how the heat buildup on this is going to be. Let's see. If we look at, say, the regular AC-20, just baseline, heat buildup is 7.8. Heat buildup on this is only 2.5. What?
What? No, but it's rapid fire, so it's, it's still going to build up heat faster. That makes more sense than I thought. Yeah, consider the rate of fire. That's, that's... For a minute there, I was like, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. The rapid fire is just better all around. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely have to take this puppy out and give it a whirl. Now we just need to find a mission that we can actually use, uh, Hunchback Squad in. If you swatch a single, see, single heat sink for a devil, you can get another 10. That's true, uh, but the Hunchbacks tend to get shot up pretty quickly, and I don't want to lose double heat sinks on a Hunchback. I'd rather save them for more durable platforms so we don't lose them. It's fine. It's fine. All right, uh, star map. Let us, now that we've spent a bunch of money on heresy, let's head out here and uh, get to work on this mission. Depending on the difficulty, we might be taking a hunchback squad out right away. Now we can see the game also has thermal bending. I mean, we know it doesn't, but wouldn't that be interesting? All right, view transmissions, industrial apps, and edit, 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 espionage. I can words chat, I promise. Okay, conspirators. Um, fighting against House Davin, which, I mean, I guess we can afford to take some rep hit on them. I don't know if we should, but it is what it is. Difficulty 60. Now this is a, hold on, sheep on a second. Okay, I was gonna say, I was thinking that it was this mission, and I was like, why is a Reputation 3 contract giving us a Difficulty 60 mission? But I was just misremembering. Alright. So, uh, we need you to join us in reinforcing Casper Owen's protection detail. Hopefully, we won't have to use your skills, but better safe than sorry. I'm sure we will, and God bless it. Okay. Somebody just hit their, their their car alarm. And we could say, uh, yeah, those in need is in Slayer Space. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's see what we can do here. My goodness, my goodness, up to 13 salvage shares on this if we had better reputation. Careful, Commander. The 290 ton limit on this one. On this Holy crap. As well. Okay, I mean, Maybe it's time for Mad Squad. If we're gonna take Mad Squad, then I mean, do it. I could take the trip, but I kind of want to take a Warhammer instead. Can we? Nah, it's overweight. Son of a bitch. Maybe take out the T-Bolt? Mm. I don't know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Cause I, I still I still just want to lean on the treb. Like the treb is so good. Maybe we take out the 4G and go really stupid. Like if I'm gonna take a 50 ton mag, this could take out this rapid fire. Except on this vi on this difficulty, I have a fear that we're just gonna get rocked in a hunchback and then immediately lose the rapid fire without really getting a chance to do anything with it. So maybe we'll just maybe maybe we'll just do a little swap. So all of these guys are pretty much. And this guy's all energy, so we will do this. I want you using the 3D, because you're better on energy. I mean, it's a moot point, largely, but... You're going to be better with missiles and ballistic. So maybe I take one of the Marauders and give the T-Bolt to Mullins.
Nah, screw it. I'll take the T-Bowl. We'll take it out for a spin. Ugh. Alright, we're right on the limit. We're right on the limit. Being here always seems to be worth an extra 10 to 15 pounds. Eh. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, Chan, let's make it out. Thankfully, I don't regret this decision. But Mad Squad. Hopefully Mad Squad is good. Oh, it's dark. Gonna have to have night vision on this one, I think. On democracy. One Sylvan Vaughn wants us to reinforce his security detail for the leading Trade Federation presidential candidate, Casper Owens. We have been ordered to rendezvous with his forces at the city Owens is currently staying at. Oh, so we're getting involved in politics, are we? On the plus side, um... I think this will be the first time in a long time where my AI companions are actually faster than I am. Because I think the Marauder There's is faster in terms of top speed than the T-Volt is. And his forces have already set up a perimeter. Incoming message from Vaughn. Patching it through now. Commander, nice to meet you in person. As you see, my troops and I have garrisoned the city already. I'll be coordinating the garrison on field here and my riflemen. I know what you must be thinking. Between you, me, and the forces, all this seems a tad overkill. But it's better to be overprepared than underprepared in these situations. With any luck, we should be enough of a deterrent to keep the candidates safe. I'll set you up on ball security frequency so he. I just realized I need to look at my weapon groups. I, I didn't even realize until, I'm, like, just now. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to shoot stuff eventually. Uh. And, alright, so this is kind of a weird setup. So I want the missiles now. Let's do those on weapon group 3. Uh, we'll put the mediums on group 2. I guess we'll put the machine guns on group 2 as well. And I'll use the large laser as the first weapon group. Because the large laser I'll, I'll probably be sniping with try to make that work we'll see can communicate with you directly commander all right let's see here oh that's the wrong button let's try that again Styles have breached the perimeter. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Inside minimum range. That's unfortunate. Still inside minimum range. Still inside minimum range. There we go. See, this is exactly what I was afraid of, was that these donkeys are going to get stuck right up in people's faces. There we go. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. Democracy, freedom, and liberty. For Super Earth, Chad. For Super Earth. Oh, there we go. We got something. Way over here. We got Shadowhawk, we got Vulcan, we got J. Edgar. Let's take out the J. Edgar first. Inside minimum range. That kind of hurts. I mean, I guess it's a good thing the T-Bolt is tanky. Whoop. 
Whoops. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. I can't stay frosty. I can't stay frosty, Rihanna. I'm just too goddamn good. This cockpit gets so hot. It's so hot I gotta take my jacket off. Take him out. Take him out. There we go. And they're they're literally coming from every goddamn direction. And we got a rifleman out there. Okay, all right. I see him. I see him. I'll let my donkeys handle that while I go handle this. Would you stop? Oh, you're gonna have a bad time, my friend. You are gonna have a bad time, my friend. I'm surprised he's this accurate up close. And I cannot hit this dude's cockpit to save my life! And there we go, there we go. Engaging shared target ID. Grab that Vulcan. More enemies inbound. I keep forgetting we don't have missiles with this uh with this particular Lance comp. Well I'm the only one that has LRMs. Yeah, I know that the hitboxes are really hard to hit in this game on the cockpits, but I still like to try. I want to try to increase my accuracy if I can. Alright. Shut up. The bullet warehouse destroyed. Target acquired. All right, let's let's see if we can take out a partisan with 20 LRMs. Uh, appears the answer is no. Ow. Uh oh, oh, oh my. I, I thought the game was gonna crash on me there for a second. Partisan's tanky as always. All right. And there was, uh, I was going to say, there were some contacts. Oh, and there's a dropship. Lovely. Alright, well things are, things are getting a little serious right now. Inside minimum range, my dear. Fire. There we go. There we go. Think we're getting them? Maybe. Still inside them range of these LRMs. Target mech eliminated. And these the friggin' light mechs. The friggin' light mechs. Get shot in the head, nerd. Alright, what's left? Can spell friendly fire without friendly? You are not wrong. New target 
Get him, boys. Get him. Additional hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. We're losing a lot of armor, but uh, so far so good. Our employer wants this area cleared of all tanks. Target spider. On the commander's target. Targeted next Yeah, we're we're taking some uh, some pretty hefty damage. Administration building destroyed. I am not particularly worried about your administration building, my friend. Affirmative. Commander's target is now priority. Did we did we sweep that lane? Is there anything left over there? I can't tell. I hope not. I don't think we got much of a hit on that one. Where is that damn spider? I know we didn't kill him. Or did we? Copy. Engage commander's target. You're not very bright, are you? You're, you're, you're having a little bit of a derp right now. I don't know if you know that. Get him. Get him. Light his monkey ass up. All right, here we go. That's another one down. Now, what is, is that an urban mech? Where, where did he go? Did we kill him somehow? No, he's still there. All right, well, y'all wanna go plunging into the breach. You go right ahead. Yeah, leg check, I saw, I saw. We're, we're getting some armor stripped off, but again, thankfully, the, uh, the, the, T-Bolt is a pretty tanky boy. Thankfully. There we go. Yeah, fool. What you missed mostly is us assembling most of the parts of Mad Squad. If you notice up in the top left corner, we're currently running three Marauders. It's all we have at the moment. Eventually, we'll run four if I can get a fourth one. But for now, Mad Squad is just three Marauders and a Thunderbolt. That went okay. I took a little more damage than I would have liked. But uh, the T-Bolt's also a pretty slow mech, so has to be expected. Like I said, thankfully it's a tanky boy. Now, what can we get with our salvage shares? Uh, I guess we take the Centurion. I'll grab a large laser. Take some mediums as well. I don't I don't see any rare tech out here, so we'll just we'll just take some Frank's red hot, as you do. 
All right. So we'll accept that, and I'm sure they're gonna send us elsewhere. Travel to Monhagen. All right. That's still not too bad. And nobody lost any arms or weapon systems or anything like that, so... a one did well. Did well. You love to see it. I love it when we can go in and not have to worry too much about damage. So let's see where this next mission is taking us. Oh, just one planet over. Easy enough. Let's do it. We're in a conflict zone, so it's gonna cost us extra money for the refit. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. But holy shit, chat. See, y'all have already got me like I'm into this now. Also, get a little drafty. Put the jacket back on. But man, y'all got me into this. I didn't realize it's already been three and a half hours. My butt was starting to hurt and I was wondering why. Now I know. But first and foremost, I would say that the Marauders have earned their stripes, so to speak. So let's see. What, what do we think about this? If we're using the default Tenori Tigers paint scheme... I still stand by the fact that that's a little too much yellow, personally. But what do y'all think? And I see a general quarters. Hydration incoming. I mean, I do like the primary color to be purple. So what I'm thinking... What I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Excuse me. There we go. Here's what I'm thinking. We use the yellow for the accent. And we do something like that. So we got yellow pen striping, but we're still primarily purple. And would it be better to run the lighter purple down the middle and run the darker purple for the accents? Let's see. I think I'm more partial to that look, personally. Because I, I like having the darker colors for the accents, but the brighter colors up front, and we get the yellow pen striping. I think, I think this is the winner, but you guys tell me. Better like this, or better the way we had it earlier? The, do we swap the purples, or do we keep it this way? And Matt V2, Wayman, first time in the chat, welcome to the stream. Matt, hopefully you had an outstanding weekend. Glad to have you. Glad you could join us. We're, uh, we're playing a little Mech Warrior 5, as you can see. No DLC, sadly. Uh, so if you did show up to, to see some of the new DLC content, the Solaris, uh, sadly we will not have that on display, uh, other than whatever default got added to the game. I have not yet purchased the DLC, I will say that. This is slightly more garish. Yeah, that, that's my thing. It's like, this is this is a little more loud, and that's why I like it. Well, glad to hear it, Matt. Hopefully, hopefully you will enjoy. Again, we, we are the cult of band tactical decisions, and you will see more than your fair share if you stick around long enough. But in the meantime, welcome to the stream and welcome to the community. I hope you have an outstanding time while you're here. And of course, all of you, you chuckle fucks out there in chat, make sure, make sure to be nice. Uh, but in the meantime, I like this. I think we're going to go with this. I'm going to apply this paint scheme to the mad. I think this is what we'll go with. Um, and we'll do the same thing here. We'll do the same thing here. So we're going to do this and we'll say... 
Actually, that, that can stay where it was. That was actually good in the way it was. Wasn't it? No. No. Okay, here we go. There we go. Do that. And we need to swap you over. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing for this boy. God bless it. No. There we go. I always forget. And there you have it. Apply. So that takes care of Marauder Squad. We're going to paint this thing. Since I'm the one using it, we're going to give it the ugliest of uglies. Yeah. With that taken care of. Now that we've got the paint jobs, we spent a good 500k sea bills in paint on the mechs as we put them back together. It is time. Oh yes. Oh yes, Matt. It is in its Hunchback Squad. And uh, Hunchback Squad is actually pretty good, but I think we're getting to the point in difficulty uh, where we may not be able to field them as much anymore. So, oh yes, I, I, I do love me some Hunchback, and, and we... We got into it. We used hunchbacks when we probably shouldn't, and ended up having to rebuild them several times. But the hunchback is true, and the hunchback... She'll always stand by you. That boombox. I mean, even when we removed the boombox, because we've taken the hunch off the hunchback. And that was fun, too. But at any rate, with that being said, it's been three and a half hours. My butt hurts. We're gonna do a BRB. You know the drill, folks. Uh, get up! Do a little stretching, get you some water, get you some snacks, do whatever it is you're gonna do, and in the meantime, I'm gonna do the same, and we will reconvene in just a few moments. In the meantime, let's say we get the game audio back on, first of all, so you guys can hear what's going on, and then we pick up where we left off. Oh, also, just complete tangent, because I was look I was reading my email over the BRB just to get caught up. And I got, uh, I got two things that I thought were interesting, and I figured I would share with you guys. The first thing I got was a... One of many potential sponsorship emails. So I get, I get emails semi-frequently from people I've never heard of, working for companies I've never heard of, uh, supposedly sponsoring games I've never heard of and can't find a Steam page or anything else for. Uh, they're always asking me, if I'd be willing to, to, you know, advertise their game and stream their game and blah, blah, blah. And it's always the whole, like, well, if you just give us all this information about you and your stream and your Twitch accounts, uh, then we'll be more than happy to give you some undisclosed amount of money to hawk our product. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not doing this for money, guys. So, uh, no, it's not gamer subs. At least I know who they are. Um, not that I would hawk for them either, but at the same time, it's like, I, I have to tell them politely, like, I don't do this for money, I'm not in it for sponsorships. That's not to say that I won't ever take a sponsorship, like, I think if, if I were approached by a company that had a product I wanted to support, or had a service that, that I was willing to advertise, I might do that, but, like, I, I'm not gonna do the whole, you know, oh, we'll give you a four-digit amount of money. Yeah, Raid Shadow Legends, the most extreme and awesome mobile game that you can play on your phone. Also, they totally won't try to screw you out of every nickel and dime you have in your bank account. And they're definitely not a, sh a shady Chinese company that's definitely not spying on you. Anyway. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not saying I would never take a sponsorship, but... Considering that, once again, these are people I've never heard of, from companies I've never heard of, advertising products I've never heard of. That's, that, that's a big no from me, dog. But uh, the other email that I got was... So I build garage kits. In addition to, you know, like Warhammer models and, and, and other stuff than that. 
Uh, like, I, I do models, I do painting, I do building and stuff. So I do garage kits. And it's mostly figures, but I've done some gunpla and stuff like that as well. Um, and I got an email confirming shipment of something that I had completely forgotten about. Uh, it's, it's a garage kit that I ordered. Uh, Nike is the butt game. Um, if you're an ass man or an ass woman, uh, check out Nike. It's, it's the butt game. Um, can confirm, have played it. Also, they have a, uh, a near Automata crossover, which I don't know if you can get that stuff anymore, but, you know, that's also an ass game, so, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing. But, um, so I got an email about a garage kit, and I'd completely forgotten about it because I ordered the kit way, way back in 2021, and had just completely forgotten about it. And, uh, track tension, not really. I, I have occasionally posted a few photos of, like, some of my Warhammer models, but I, I don't, I don't typically, uh, do that. I, I, I mean, I'm kind of personal that way, but, so I will show you, though. I, I want to show you guys. Um, hold on a second. I don't know if I still have it linked, but I'll see if I do. Is it this? I think it's this. No, it's not that. Son of a bitch. I wanted to show you guys because this is something like, because y'all are interested in it, I may absolutely go at some point, and if I, I get this thing built up, I may share it with you guys, but we will see. Uh, but here we go. Uh, let's do this. And I want to this. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't planning on showing uh, a a thing here, but so you're gonna get some browser action. But here you go. I wanted to show you. So th this is a Cromari Eleven figure, and this is the this is the original version. Like this is what they were selling um, originally, and this is back in like 2020. Now, this figure comes fully modeled, fully built, fully painted. So this is the Valkyria from Valkyria Chronicles 4, if you don't know. And this is a 1 6 scale figure, so it's a big figure. Comes pre-built, pre-painted, and everything. Um, I wanted to get this, but this figure costs like $600 to $800. Dollars. Determ ba based on where you get it from... And, like, where you live, like, it's insanely expensive to buy these figures. Now, with that being said, the garage kit is only about 150 bucks. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a, um... This is a stylized model, but... If you're familiar with Valkyria Chronicles, then you know that the artist, the character artist for the game, is an artist that goes by Raita, a Japanese artist. And if you're familiar with Raita's work, which I can't show you because they're famous for a certain reason, but I can't show you on Twitch. Um, but yeah, this is very much in line with Raita's character designs. With that being said, the garage kit rather than being this, fully built and painted and assembled and all that, is basically just the raw parts. Correct. Uh, if, for those of you that don't know, a small Atomi page in one of in one of Raita's doujins from many, many years ago inspired Katawa Shoujo. Which, for those of you that didn't know, I did work on Katawa Shoujo. Um, and so, you know, it's a... That's how I was introduced to Raita all the way back in the day. But anyway, so this is... I got a garage kit of this figure. Um, and that is essentially what I'm going to get in the mail. But it'll be raw parts, unpainted, unbuilt, unassembled, and all that. Uh, and I'll have to put it all together. So I don't know if it'll... It definitely won't come out looking as good as that does. But I'm going to try my hand at it as well. So that's... 
that's the thing that I was kind of, I was like, oh shit, I completely forgot about this because I paid for it in full. If you guys don't know how garage kits work, a lot of times you'll order, like when you see a figure that you really like, a lot of times they'll do a garage kit, which is just the raw parts. And the thing with that is you'll put in, you'll put in a, an order for it and they haven't even built the kits yet. And so once, once a place that's selling the garage kit gets enough orders for that thing, then they'll be able to put in a production run. There's usually like a, a minimum number of orders that they have to have before they can actually get the production run done. So it took many years. Again, it took like three years before they finally got enough orders. Um, and so I had completely forgotten about it. Oh no, track tension. It's for me, it's not that I feel like I have to copy the released version. It's just, again, I like the character. I like the franchise. I want to try to paint it, you know, somewhat like it's meant to be painted. Uh, but again, I'm not, I'm not on that level of skill, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to show that. Uh, just because it's, it's a thing that I enjoy. It's something that I do in my spare time. But anyway, enough about in Bing Booba anime waifu models, and let's get into uh, what we were working on. This uh, this eyes on democracy thing. Valkyrie Chronicles stream win. Uh, you know, I'm not against the idea. I'm I'm definitely not against the idea. I I'd said before. I mean, I'm a huge fan girl when it comes to the Valkyria Chronicles franchise. I've played through all the games, including the third game that we had to get a jailbroken PSP and a translated version of the game to play. Um, and I have even played Valkyria Revolution, which was absolute dog shit. And as far as I'm concerned, it is not a Valkyria Chronicles game, no matter what they try to tell you. Uh, so I have played all the games. I have opinions on the games, but we're here for some Mech Warrior, and uh, if and when we ever get around to playing Valkyrie Chronicles on stream, I may share a little bit more of my thoughts on the franchise. But just know, um, I'm a huge Valkyrie Chronicles fangirl. I'm also a huge Skies of Arcadia fangirl um, from the Dreamcast, which was developed by the same team. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a favorite passion of mine. There are mech warriors with figurines in their cockpit. I mean, I would absolutely be one of them in this hypothetical scenario. Uh, let's see. We need to destroy tactical targets to discourage the Fusiliers from making another assassination attempt. But be careful. It looks like they might be expecting you this time. I, I mean, were they not expecting us last time? Wait a minute. Back up. Okay, no, I thought we still had salvage picks, and maybe I just hadn't actually told it to do that, but I was wrong. Expectations are for nerds. I, it's not fair. That's not fair. Expectations are for people that, that think ahead. We aren't those people, but it's fairly common in normal parlance. Uh, so yeah, we're right at the tonnage limit. I think, uh, I think we roll out Mad Squad again. Let's do it. Hopefully we don't get wrecked this time. I mean, I said we didn't get wrecked last time. Buttons, knobs, dials, screens. Oh, look, look, you can barely see it, but like you can see the paint job. You can see the paint job sticking through the cockpit. Alright, here we go. I think we go this way first. The group that attacked us on Kamal. Eyes on Democracy want us to disrupt their operations to discourage them from mounting another assassination attempt against Owens. I must warn you that we are attacking the Fusiliers on their home turf, so watch out. They will have substantial defenses. Wait, are these the same Fusiliers from Canopus that, like, we were fighting with a couple of missions ago? 
Because I think they were called the Fusiliers as well. Or is it just... Is it just that so many companies and, and units in Battletech don't have an imagination? Maybe I'll doze off during the briefing, but why are the Fusiliers attacking their own citizens? Okay, because not not the same the Fusilier. Of the Hassock family. And it's really no surprise that a March Lord would be petty enough to use his own private army for a personal vendetta. What? You mean nobles in battle take exerting their power and influence through private troops against their own citizenry? I would never. I could never see that happening. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, like, imagine, and, and for those of you, like, I, I know we had, uh, like, Black Hydra out there that wasn't as familiar with, uh, the Battletech setting, but, like, imagine all of the worst excesses and shitty behavior that you've heard about from, like, you know, ye olden times, the Dark Ages and medieval times, and it's like that, but in a future setting. Like, the nobles and the noble houses in Battletech are just so shitty to everyone all the time. It's almost kind of a joke. We got a Thunderbolt, let's use it. It's basically just a big-ass battering ram. you bring a bunch of Vulcans? Like, did you want to die? Feel free to kill this donkey. Guys. Thank you. Shit. Alright. You know, if at any point you guys wanted to shoot at the enemies that are currently pounding my ass like a prison quartet, feel free. I don't pay you donkeys to watch paint dry. Good lord. I'm really gonna have to take out this locust with machine guns because you guys are that incompetent. I gave you guys marauders! You should be eating these donkeys alive and you can't even stay facing the right direction. That's a quick draw. I am a little extremely disappointed with my people right now. They they are... Like, the amount of suck that I am currently witnessing here is... It, it's actually kind of amazing. Like, I know I shouldn't be relying on the, uh... I know I shouldn't be relying on the AI for too much, but, like... Good lord. Confirmed, Commander. Moving on target. Come on, you donkeys. The only thing the quick draw has is armor. Why is this taking so long? Switch targets, please. There we go. Clear the area. All right, now, after taking far too much damage and accomplishing very little in the process, let's head on to the next area. Uh, 
I mean, Matt, you're not entirely wrong. I, I mean, they're all running basically PPC Marauders. They should be... Assuming that they have clear line of sight, they should be annihilating everything I point them at, and yet... Somehow, some way, they're doing the exact opposite of that. I mean, Kokma, again, to avoid getting into too much political... I, I mean, I would argue... Even today, in the U.S. and most of the Western world, we still have royalty. It's just... The royalty are corporate CEOs and movie stars and shit like that. Like, they're not actual royals, but it's still the same basic concept. A banshee, huh? I mean, you're gonna have a bad time, my friend. I have elevation on you, and I have LR rooms, and I have a lot. Sandpaper that armor, boy. Sandpaper. See, why do I keep peeking? I don't even need to peek. I mean, I'll peek for the lazy. We're, we're not we're not quite sandpapering the armor as much as I thought we could. Also, my people are kind of shit on the accuracy. Come on, guys. There are six PPCs between you. Why is this so difficult? How about this? Go down there. Go down there and attack him. How about that? We lost the line. We lost the- oh. I didn't realize how far down that was. Then again. Maybe we need to do some, uh, some Skyrim mountain goading. And voila, rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Good to see you, voila. Glad to have you. Glad you could make it to a stream with us, buddy. As always. And yeah, you're not wrong. AI, uh, landsmate. AI is absolutely terrible, but it is what it is. Not much to be done, sadly. Man, that hurts. Inside minimum range, my ass. Okay, so then attack the enemy, you fucking doofus. Has of maxing. Cliff top and ravine pill. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I am probably going to break the legs on this mech trying to get down from here, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. All right, now that now that I've lost a bunch of armor and you donkeys have probably lost some weapon systems, let's let's go check this out. I guess. We'll get em. Now, how hard is it gonna be for three PPC Marauders to take out a Jenner? I wonder. And we'll just do a little bulldozing, a little impromptu demolition work, you know, as we do. There we go. Let's 
one thing you can always count on the T-Bolt for. Again, you donkeys, I am concerned about why it is taking three of you so long to take down a single light mech. It is often astounding. You know what? Come here. Get punched. Get punched again. Oh, you, you finally, finally, after that much time, three of you combined were finally able to take out a single light mech, huh? Well. This is a little bit of a joke, guys. This isn't even a hard mission. You're over here getting absolutely destroyed. And my entire goddamn mech is on fire. Good lord. This is why you need max armor on every mech chat. Because depending on what's all the way over there... There are very real chances that we may not make it out of this mission. If they hit us with some particularly strong resistance over there, we might just get taken out. Alright. Ass another one down. And I guess, to be fair, this is like a difficulty 60 mission, so it's a pretty tough mission. It's still extremely frustrating. Like I said, right, I'm basically, when I send three marauders to take out a Jenner, and I can basically kill a Centurion and two light mechs in the same amount of time that it takes them to kill one light mech. Like, it's, it's excessive. It should not be that difficult for them to take out a single Jenner. Actually, you know what? It's probably... Looking at the map, I think... I don't know that there's any... Like, either way we go, we're gonna have to go the long way around to actually get to this place, it looks like. Is this a dead end, or can we actually get through the canyon? Oh, we're, we're not even going the right way. Well, screw it. Screw it. Yeah, that's that's a thing that I'm learning the hard way, Reed, is that that's part of the reason that we went with PPC boats on on the Marauders was as a hey, just just PPCs, guys. Just shoot the PPCs. That's all you gotta do. And uh, they, they still have a problem with that. Very easy, but they still have a problem with that. And it's, it's a part of me that kind of just wants to, like, find some fast medium mechs and just give them a bunch of machine guns and flamers and let them do dumb shit, because that's all that they ever seem to do. is they, they just charge at the enemy, get directly into close range, and start firing, and it's like... It's not... Like, when I give you PPCs and an AC-5, that's not really the intent there. Is there any way out of here? I think we can get up here. Hopefully we can get up here. 
But I can absolutely see why people would say, you know, obviously Mech Warrior 5 is much, much better when you play with other human beings and you don't have to worry about that level of stupidity. Oh, hell. Unable, Commander. Cannot attack that target. Well, of course not, because, again, you're kind of stupid. Then attack the enemy, maybe? Oh, outstanding. Copy. We're on it, sir. What the hell? Component lost. Bye. I punch out. Making my way. I, to I the can't. You donkeys. Like this, this is an entirely new level of incompetence. That is three marauders. Toasted. Three marauders dusted and toasted. Completely destroyed. And I'm probably going to be right behind him. Because all I get is a large lead. Well, and some LRMs, but they're not going to do me any good, because everything's inside my minimum range. Is down. Begin recovery operations. Yeah. And they cord that T-Bolt, so that thing is gone. So we don't even get it back. Gotta love the AI. And that, that right there is exactly why I didn't want to give the Marauders PPCs. Because I knew... That shit was going to happen when I gave them the PPCs. That they were going to run up on the enemy, get inside the minimum range, and then be completely unable to do any damage. And that's exactly what happened. So, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. But to Ultraviolet Combat, see you rolling into the rolling into the stream. First time chatter. Apparently haven't gotten a gift sub. They're, they they were going a little crazy with the gift subs at the beginning of the stream. But good to have you. Glad to see you. Hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far. And welcome to the cult of bad tactical decisions, courtesy of whoever it was that gifted you the sub. There were quite a few folks. I'm not sure who it was exactly, but one of them I'm sure. And I also see Jam Stapler rolling in the chat as well as always. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream, Stapler. And glad to see you back. Glad you could join us for another stream. I wish you had come in on a better mission than what we're dealing with currently. But, uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And BLM as well rolling in on a Saturday you know, as I enter mission failure. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. So let's see. The the T bolt get cord, the Marauder get cord, the Marauder get cord, the Marauder get cord. Outstanding. Outstanding. So yeah, again, for those of you that were that were absolutely demanding that we put PPCs on these Marauders, like I said, that is exactly why I didn't want to do it. Because I knew that would happen. I knew if we put PPCs on them, they would absolutely get destroyed. And that's that's exactly what happened. So I think we'll go back with my original idea and give them the large lasers instead. Because the large lasers do not have... Well, actually, I don't even think it's worth it right now to try to rebuild these things. If I was just going to repair it. Yeah, 3 million C-bills for that one. Uh, let's see... 2 million for that one, 2 million for that one, and 3 million for the T-Bolt. So yeah, the, these are all going to cold storage for the time being. And uh, we're going to have to revisit the designs on these guys. The Marauders are not getting PPCs, at least not so long as the AI is the one driving them. I track tension. Well, again, as always, I'm glad you could join us. Thank you for showing up and spending some of your precious time here with us and with the community. I do wish you the best. Stay safe over the weekend, and I hope 
You will have an outstanding rest of it. Uh, and uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully that will be next week, but we will see. I, I, I don't want to bring it up too much just yet, but we are... I, I am seeing some rumblings on the horizon, and I may have to either reschedule or postpone next stream. Uh, but we will, we will burn that bridge when we get there. We will burn that bridge when we get there. Uh, in the meantime, we do still have a good heavy lance. So, we're, we're not... We're not in the pits yet. But it would have been great if that mission went a little better. Um, let's see. So, wh what do we got here? I assume the contract is still there. It is. Did we... I mean, all of our pilots got... got did any of them die? Okay, it doesn't look like it. They all got injured, which... That's to be expected. You're all fucking idiots. You deserve to be injured. Um, but at least nobody died. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, friend aid, it's one of those things that it's not... It's not that the, the AI won't fire the PPCs. The in time has range. come. It's and that they don't... So have I. They, they... So because the PPCs have... Well, okay, before I go on a rant. Omega Forged rolling in with the raid. Welcome, Omega Forged and Raiders. Thank you so much, Omega, for the raid. And welcome, Raiders. We are playing little vanilla MechWarrior 5 today. So welcome on into the stream. I hope you guys are having an outstanding Saturday so far. And uh, let's see. What were you guys playing over there? What were you guys playing? Ah, uh, da 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 Let's see, looks like you were playing some more Gundam over there, so tell me, tell me, Omega, how was, uh, how was the Gundam? I know you guys are playing that pretty frequently over there, so how, how did it go today? Hopefully you had some good matches. Uh, as for us, we're, we're coming off the back of, uh, the AI basically getting some Rima Marauders and a Thunderbolt blown up, and, uh, now, you know, uh, to, to quote a certain King of Tigers, I am never going to financially recover from this. But we will see. I will, we'll make it work. That's, that's the whole thing about Battletech, regardless of the incarnation, is, uh, is it's about making the best of a bad situation, and that's exactly what we're going to do. But again, thank you, Omega, for the raid, and welcome, Raiders. Uh, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Maria Minan, and I play... Uh, well, I play a lot of Battletech games, but I also play some other stuff as well. We just happen to be playing some MechWarrior 5 today. Um, sadly... I don't have the new DLC, the new Solaris DLC, so if you want to see that content, I sadly cannot provide. I will hopefully be able to get the DLC before next stream. Uh, but sadly, you will not be able to get a good feel for what it's like um, on Solaris 7 from my stream. At least not this time around. Omega says there were many dead mobile suits, none of them mine. Well, goddamn right, you love to hear it. That's the way it should always go. Did anyone watch the... Oh. Did anyone watch the cartoon back in the day? Well, let me tell you something, buddy. Let me tell you something. Not only have I seen it, we have animated emotes. You dare refuse my bachelor? Now, I'm not a clanner. I've said before, honor is for clanners and losers, which is basically the same thing. The proper intersphere merc way should blow up. We don't have spares. Just throw whatever we got in that fits and get back in the fight. Yeah, exactly. That's that's pretty much what you do in battle type. Uh, and, and incidentally, the 2018 Battletech game, that's part of the reason that I like it so much, because it does have that sort of, like, logistic element of, of keeping your lance and your company going. There's a little bit of that here. Not, not quite as deep, though. Miss Steiner propaganda piece. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair. That's fair. It is, it is kind of Steiner propaganda. Uh, but back to my rant about the AI and PPCs, when you guys walked in. So the reason, the reason that we lost this lance is because Chad kept poking and prodding me to make all three of these marauders PPC marauders, which I did. And I did it against my better judgment because giving the AI PPCs is always a recipe for disaster. The reason for that is that PPCs have a minimum range at which, like, it's not like LRMs where inside of the range they just don't fire. Like, you can still fire PPCs inside the minimum range, 
but the like the the shots don't go where they're supposed to go they kind of go squirrely inside the minimum range and the problem with the ai is it doesn't know how to aim with that so it's aiming at the target but the shots aren't hitting the target because it's inside the minimum range now as a human being i personally can see that recognize it and compensate for it but the ai cannot do that and so what happens is enemies get up close and like for those of you that were here we had three marauders trying to destroy a single jenner and it took them three and a half minutes to do it and it's it's stupid so Again, I will not be giving any PPCs to the AI in the future for that exact reason. In any situation where I would give them a PPC, I'll give them a large laser instead because those work at close range. But anyway, that's, that's my AI is terrible with PPCs rant. In lore, the series does exist as Steiner anti-Claire propaganda. I believe it. I believe it. I know it was just, you know, your typical 80s toy tie-in cartoon, but, uh... But it definitely reeks of propaganda. It definitely reeks of propaganda. Uh, and so, refit the Warhammers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to your point, that is exactly what I was about to do. Because, having seen the performance of the Marauders, I now know that... Giving them PPCs in the Warhammer is, again, just going to be a recipe for disaster. So we're going to dish the PPCs and we're going to give them some large lasers instead. Not only because they will be more accurate with them, but also because it means that, as a general rule, when they get that equipment blown up, because they will, it will be much less expensive to replace. At least you have a stalker. We do have a stalker. We do indeed have a stalker. Uh, so this is going to give us an extra four tons. Uh, part of me wants to spend that on a larger missile launcher. What what can we actually put? Because we have the SRM-6, but I think that's about all we've got. I could try to put an LRM launcher in it, but again, I don't want to give the computer anything with a minimum range. Because that always ends in tears. Every time. I think we just stick with the regular SRM-6. Uh, we could probably put an extra bin of ammo in, though. Uh, of course, ammo goes in the feet. We know this. Let's give him an extra bin of ammo. Uh, we'll try maxing the armor. And maybe we throw in machine guns. I mean... I'm not going to use machine guns, but... Considering that the computer loves to get in close, might not be a bad idea. Uh, Let's see. 320 rounds on the SRM. I think we ditch a bit of ammo. And we put in... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Half ton of SRM. Ah, uh, we can't do that anyway. Son of the Beach. Alright, we'll give him more ammo. We'll give him half a bin of machine gun. And we'll decrease the armor just a little bit. How about that? Uh, no, I don't think we can. I We can try. I, I, cause it's a small energy slot and not a medium, and I don't think, pretty sure you can't put a medium laser in a small slot. Yeah, you can't. So, you no, know, it, it has to be a small laser, sadly. The cartoon is still canon, but is propaganda from Tharkad Broskad, broadcast corporate. Canonically, Malthus saw the show and attempted to declare a trial against the broadcasting company for airing the show. See? I love that. That, that like, they actually ran with it. And they're like, yeah, not only does the show exist, but it exists within the canon of the universe, and people have reacted to that. 
Yeah, Dizzy Buttons, I think I would prefer to have something like yet another Mech Lab, but again, this is my first playthrough. Like, this is my first time playing Mech Warrior 5. This campaign is my first campaign, so I did want to get uh, a feel for it, and um, we will definitely mod the game. Just, I want to finish one campaign at least before uh, before we begin. Uh, but this is, this is not terrible. I'm going to, once again, take a screenshot, and I'm just going to copy this design. Um, I'm just going to copy this design over to the other one. I, I don't have too much of an imagination when it comes to this. Uh, let's see. So we'll start the work. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. And then let's go into the loadout for this one. We'll do the exact same thing. Uh, shit. And we did that and that. We put the SRM ammo. We put in another bin of SR. You know what? I'm over here, like, trying to memorize what I did. And I literally just took a screenshot so I wouldn't have to do that. Uh, Alright, so we're going to max the armor, as you do. And we'll do this. We had what that was maxed out. This is 56 and 30. The rest of that was maxed out. And then we put in machine guns. And we put in a half bin of ammo. There we go. And we need to add the large lasers. And we're still a ton short. What did I forget? Did I forget? Okay, we have the SRM ammo. We have the heat sinks. What am I missing, chat? Missing medium lasers. You're right. That's what it is. There we go. All right. Busy says they never finished my campaign. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. The campaign is pretty boilerplate. I don't want to say it's bad. It's just uninspired, I guess, is the best way to put it. 